We live. What's up, guys? What's up, Facebook Live? We're at the hotel room. Because we missed our flight by three minutes. But even if we didn't miss our flight, I probably would have missed it because I didn't have my ID. I lost it. Look at this. So, the back of my, the, my phone case normally has, like, this thing where it's my wallet. And uh, it came apart. So, I had to carry my credit cards and my ID and all that stuff. So, I ended up losing my license, which was probably the most important one out of them all. Because when you fly, you need your ID. And if you don't have your ID from what I looked up, you got to go through, like, a cavity search at the airport and all this crazy cavity. stuff. I don't really know if <laughs> that's true, but check it out. This is our hotel room. Yo, I got to give it to Ollie. He really balled out in this hotel room. Right, Ollie? Absolutely. <laughs> we went from staying at, like, a resort <laughs> and then the mansion. Now we got this. Check out my man Nick right there. Lane. Lane, hello, dog. Queen floor. Queen floor. Queen floor. Queen floor. Queen King pull out. Queen floor. 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 Queen Hello with my, my baby boys and Claire. And uh, the Uber actually is the reason that we were late. Because we got an Uber last night. And we told the guy, yo, you want to come back tomorrow? We'll pay you cash. So <laughs> he ended up showing up at 530. We were supposed to be there at 5. Or he's supposed to be there at 5. So we missed it by three minutes. So it's all good, though. It's all good. Can't really complain. When you're stuck in Florida, it's not too bad. Let me see who's on here. Nikki Merkel Gilford, what's up? Tom Ring, my man, I see you killing it on Facebook. Justin Collins, Doug Murphy. LOL, get some KY, Bill. Shit, I might need it after tomorrow. Dave Marbles, Alan Smith, David Richardson, Crystal Lee Mitchell, Jackie Anushak. Yeah, you see, Doug says I might need some KY because I forgot my ID. So, what the hell do they do to you at an airport when you forget your license, or when you lose it? And, um, you gotta fly, so. We're stuck here. We're stuck out here. Ollie, what are you wearing, bro? Huh? What are you wearing, bro? Bro, this is the new runway fashion. Oh, get it, bro. Get it, bro. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> Strut it, bro. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, Atlanta. Well, we had a good time at the conference. It was the best conference I've ever been to in my entire life. I cried at the conference. I really did because it was so powerful. Eric Thomas spit some fire about not putting people first before your family and not doing... Uh, you know, just doing what you want to do in life. And it brought me to tears, man, because I'm not living to my full potential. Nick, are you living your full potential, bro? Not after yesterday. Not after yesterday, that's right. Yesterday. Ollie, you living your full potential, bro? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't. That's, that's a lie. Refund shit, you know? <laughs> he wants a refund. <laughs> no, that shit was awesome, bro. It was awesome, right? I am. What was your biggest takeaway from it? My biggest takeaway? Yeah. Um, I definitely, there's two, actually I have two big takeaways from that. Number one is I got to value my family time a lot more. Yep, um, I feel that. Our lives to work day and night, day and night, that we don't have enough time to like stop and think about uh, people who like are actually right. the reason that we're doing it for. So that's one of the things I'm going to go back and uh, change my life around and make sure I have a schedule to keep a little bit better and stronger so I can manage my time to see my family more. Yeah, what was the other one? That's the first one. The second one was the 11 year old. Yeah, this 11, 11 year old spoke on stage. There, this swan who got up on stage and rocked a crowd of 500 people. Yeah. And I get nervous talking to 15 guys behind the yeah. store. Yeah, seriously. So that just 
completed confidence to control my crowd. Um, yeah, legit. And also push our boundaries, man. That's number three. You know, there's so much potential that we have, but we're just using a fraction of it. And that goes for everybody in every business. So um, I can't wait to go back and turn it all around and get pumped up. Yeah, bro, me too. And sell some cars and become what we're going to see. We're gonna Change some lives, baby. Change some lives, baby. Bill have speaker at 2019. Yeah, it's my goal. It legitimately is. I want to speak at my old high school. I want to speak at churches. I want to speak at wherever I can to get some practice to be as comfortable as this 11-year-old girl was who spoke in front of 500 people. I was so envious of everybody who was on stage and the passion they brought and, you know, the crowd cheering and screaming. My man David Villa killed it. Glenn Lundy, Sean Hayes. And, of course, Eric Thomas. I mean, I'm, I know I'm leaving out a bunch of people, but... Shaka. Shaka Dyson. Oh, my God. Shaka Jonathan Dyson. Dawson. It was craziness. It was so crazy. I couldn't even... I didn't even... I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. That, that good. Hold on. I'm trying to read some comments. What do we got here? Cheyenne Kunkel's on. Hi, Cheyenne. AJ McGraw, Kim Rivera, Mandy Hale. Are you related to Zach Hale? Santos Rivera's watching. What's up, Santos? I hope you're holding down the dealership. Huh? Alex Quas Quasna, what's up, brother? Joseph Dono, uh oh. Danielle Diane is on. Chad Lynn, what's up, brother? I'll text you back. I'm just. Eddie Sean. Tony Marie. Tyler Crum. All right, guys. Uh, I just want to do a quick live. Yeah, good Ollie working. In his underwear and all. Get it. Let's see some dance moves, Ali. Listen, what kind of dance moves you got, bro? I seen five boss yesterday. Yeah! Yo, Dawson killed it. He oh, killed man. it. Yo, Gabe, Gabe Levy said, thoughts on Paragon's presentation. Bro, that presentation had me thinking twice about the way we do things. And when it comes to the future of car sales and how people can buy a, a car from, from an app on their cell phone. People can service their car from an app on their phone and get the car picked up and taken to service, get it serviced and brought back. That's top of the line service right there. What'd you think about that, Ali? It's, it's pretty, it was pretty official. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Forgot to leave, uh, I left Ben, uh, Brian Benstock out of that. Can I leave him out of that again? He was, he was fire. That was impressive. That was really cool. Let me see some of these. Gabe said exactly. JR Bachelor, what's up, brother? Dude, you should have been here, man. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Sally Murphy, Jessica J, Chelsea Combs, what's up? Did you leave yet, Chelsea? I think I saw a post that you guys were flying out soon. My boy Kobe Fryer just texted me and said, you guys are really stuck. What do you think? We're lying, bro? Yeah, we're really stuck. It was crazy, though. I was really pissed this morning, but... I'm over it now. Should we just fly into AC? Yeah. Atlantic City. Nick, what was your biggest takeaway, bro? And your password. Password 040515. Oh, that's for his cell phone, if anybody out there is... My, my biggest trying. takeaway... Yeah. ...was... Speak up. My biggest takeaway was... ...just to see how happy people get when they get inspired. Yeah, man. Have you ever been to a conference like that ever? No, never. First conference, first of many, hopefully. Yeah. But it was just dope to see how uh, how people really like it. You know? Yeah, it was, yeah. I, I got happy by seeing other people get happy. Yeah, yeah. It was. Also that's awesome, bro. It was uh, it was contagious for sure. Everybody yeah. was so. It was like no other conference because it was like a concert. It was like a conference. It was motivational. The lights were off and it was just like not a strobe light, but whatever. What, they had smoke yeah, and they had these cool like lights. they had some cool lights. It was awesome. It was not like any other conference I've been to. It got me so fired up, and I really, really cannot wait to go back and and implement the things that that we learned and got fired up about. So it was really cool. So I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys our current living situation while we ride out this hurricane. It's not really near us, but in the same state as us. So, and we missed our plane. We missed our flight by three minutes this morning. And they only have one flight out of the airport that we were at to Allentown per day. And here's actually 
the TV. Yeah, we're totally out of the way. We're not even, we're not even in the midst of it. Oh my God! Okay, maybe not. Look at that. No, we're at Orlando right there. So never mind. We're out of, we're out of it. Damn, that thing is crazy though. Woo. You heard that? You heard that outside? Oh my Atlanta. All right, I'm gonna get off of here. But we will see you guys. Frank Lopes, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Desiree said, where are you? We're in Orlando, Florida right now. That's where the conference was. So we got stuck here because we missed our flight by three minutes. But when we roll with two prima donnas, like, we were supposed to leave by 5 a.m. Nick was show was showering at 5.05. Like, he oh, hopped in the shower at 5.05. And then Ollie right here just always takes forever to do anything. So, it was crazy. It was crazy. Frank, my man. Lindsay said, is it near Orlando? Not really. We're on, like, the outskirts of it. Taylor Dosedlo, Destiny Keen, and Justin Getz. Oh, TV just uh oh. TV went out. That means the hurricane is here. I might be downplaying this. I don't really know. But, all right, guys. Thanks for, for hanging out and watching this with us. And we will see you back at home tomorrow. I'm not going to work tomorrow because I'm going to spend some time with my babies. But I'll be there Saturday. And then I'll be there Monday through Saturday. So let's get it, baby. Always remember, if you have to have it, Bill have has it.